What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Front Range Aquascapes. Um, this week is going to be different. Like, I'm not doing escape this week. Uh, what I am doing is an unboxing and first impressions of the new Sea Aura programmable light. Let's see if I can get you guys in here. All right, so what we have here is the new Sea Aura programmable aquarium light, uh, the SR666 22 watt. Um, just so you know, I'm not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, we're just gonna go ahead, I guess before we open it, product features, it's got an LCD monitor on it, full spectrum light, super color, or high color rendering index, super brightness, removable brackets, on and off uh, function. It's got a temperature alarm function because it's got a built-in uh, temperature probe. Uh, it's IP68. It's got a battery uh, backup for memory function so that you don't lose your timing if there's a power outage. Uh, and then like all of them, it's multicolor adjustable uh, unique light blending 24-7 mode, aluminum housing, simulating sunrise, sunset, moonlight, highly efficient and safe power supply, saves energy, suitable for plants and freshwater aquariums. So, let's see what's in the box. So, there's the light itself, and like all the other Seora lights that I have, this seems to be really nice quality. I mean, for a budget light, this is really nice quality. And there's the remote. There's the temperature probe, comes off of the light. And it comes with the two legs. And I'm gonna take a wild guess that this is the cord. Oh and batteries for the controller. Okay. So. I'll be back with you here in just a moment. I'm actually gonna read the instruction manual because this is literally the first time I've seen this light, so. I'll be back in just one moment after I read the instructions. It's the next day because I had to read this, but now we're going to go ahead and play with this light. And let me tell you, for a budget light, this by far has the most features of any light that I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing. It has 20 brightness settings from 5%, well, from off to 100% every 5%. It also has a temperature warning on the built-in thermometer, and it's going to beep when I first do this. So I just said it like, I don't know if the camera is even going to pick up, but it's got a little LCD screen and it has the current time, which I've already set. It has the time that it'll come on, which is 930. Um, and then the time that it'll go off, which is 1830 or 630 PM. 
And then it has the current temperature because the probe is just out here. And there it is on because it's after 930. But what I'm going to do I hope is I'm going to try to turn this off. Okay, so I've got back manual control because now I can go through all of the different colors. Okay, there. And what I'm going to do is, since I know it's 1238 or 1240 now, probably, because I've been playing around with the light for so long, I'm going to go ahead and set this to come on at 1245. because I'm going to show the way that it ramps up from zero to a hundred percent over 15 minutes. And one other thing is when you're setting, cause it's got two different settings for 24 hour mode. One of which is you just set an in time and an off time, or I mean an on time and an off time. And so, like I said, this one is set for 12.45 will be the on time, and then 6.30 will be the off time. But that's going to be, I'll change it shortly. Um, but then you can also choose the intensity of the lighting, both, or not just both, but all the lighting. So... Right now it says brightness and it's white and I have it set at 75%. And then you can also adjust the red, the green and the blue. So it's a true WRGB light. And I'm going to shut up and quit talking for a minute because I want to get this set up because this light is going on the tank behind it. It's going on the boulder field. Um, I've had really, really good light, or I mean, really, really good growth with the light that's currently on it. Um, and that's an older Higer. Um, but I saw this and like I said, for, for the money, this is the most advanced light out there. About the only thing that I wish it had that it doesn't is a, uh, an, an app. 
And I know that Hyger just recently came out with a budget light that does have an app. So I will be getting one of those to test it as well. But this has some features that the Hyger doesn't, such as the temperature probe. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up better and get this light on this tank so that we can see the ramp up from dark to full light. And then we'll go over a few more features that it has. warm-up from complete dark to light um, that will all be time-lapse because I know nobody's gonna sit through 15 minutes of an aquarium slowly starting to light up um, kind of sounds like paint drying if you ask me but that's in setting one and then setting two for the 24 7 cycle is really really cool if you want to get that in depth because it divides a 24 hour day into five time zones or time cycles and you set those time cycles for what they want to be and you also set the light coloring the intensity everything so that you can get a realistic like orange sunrise and then down into a pinky red sunset and blue moonlights and and all that um i personally will probably never use that function because i don't like blue moonlights on my planted tanks because i have found that that just promotes algae growth and i'm trying to grow plants not algae But as far as a budget light goes, and again, I'm not being paid by Siora for this. Uh, I paid my own money for this light. Uh, this is a completely unbiased opinion. But in my opinion, I think that this is probably one of the best budget lights that you can get. The color rendering just seems to be so much more vibrant and and I don't know if it's more realistic or more true to life or not, but the reds are redder. The blue of my guppies is is much more vibrant and blue. Um, the greens even look greener. The crip, you can see the bronzy color of the crips. Um, it, it's just initial impressions it's an amazing light but i'm gonna do follow-up videos to this because i know what this tank did with 
the old Hyger light. So now we're going to see what it will do with the brand new Sea Aura light. Um, this is a little over a month, maybe a month and a half since I set this tank up. So I figure every two weeks or so we'll check in, see how the growth is doing, see how the fish are doing, just see how this tank does under the new more powerful light. Um, I do only have it set at 75% because I figure that 22 watts is just going to be entirely too much for a 15 gallon tank. Um, and the old light I believe was a 12 or a 13 watt light. Uh, running at 75% power I should be 16.5 watts give or take. Um, we'll see how it does. I will say that I love the fact that it has a built-in temperature probe. Uh, no more ugly add-on thermometers. And I just ran my temperature probe. I don't know why I have the instruction manual. I just ran my temperature probe back into one of the holes in my plant holder. But yeah, so this was the unboxing of the new Siora SR666 22 watt light. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in again to Front Range Aquascapes. Remember, get them wet, get your hands in the tank, make something beautiful today. Peace. What?